Hello everybody, today is March 26th and in this video I am going to show you how to do a leaf plus node cutting using a um, rhododendron. So this isn't the best time of year to propagate rhododendrons because we have flower buds forming at the tips, but this is the material that we had to work with that works like this, so this is what we're going to use. Um, I like to use a more slender type of clippers for this particular thing because I really want to make sure that I'm getting in here to this um, tiny little node at the axle of each of these leaves. And what I want to do for this type of cutting method is just retain one leaf with one node for each cutting. We're going to do 25 of these, or 24 of these total. Half of them we're going to dip into a rooting product. This one is called Root Tone, but you can use pretty much any rooting product that you enjoy. And then we are going to do the other set as a control where it gets only water. We have these two flats separated so that we don't cross-contaminate uh, hormone with our treatment. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take off this apical meristem here that has this big giant flower bud and it looks like I may end up having oh no it came right off there we go so that came off with its own leaf too all right now we're gonna look here and it looks like this whirl might be a little too close together so I'm gonna try I'm gonna take off this leaf and this leaf and then use the next set that's intact so here we'll just clip this off we could probably split that into two and if I'm really limited on plant material I might do that because at the axle of each of these leaves is a node right there so and that node could differentiate into a new root system. So I'm going to save this one aside and hope that I have better material, but if I run out of material, this will be one that I end up utilizing. So here we go. We're going to go in and just snip above one leaf and below another. So right there. And then I'll show you what that piece looks like. So now we just have a leaf with its petiole and its node. These are fairly large leaves and we don't want it to transpire too much, so I'm actually gonna cut these leaves in half when I propagate it. There we go. And then um, if we're gonna do the hormone, I like to use just like a little container that I pour a little bit out into so that I'm not putting my plant material directly into the hormone container. And I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna dip this base of the leaf petiole in that, tap off any excess. Now I don't just want to shove this into the soil because it'll just kind of wear off all of the uh, rooting hormone that I just dusted with this on. So I'm going to use my extra fancy tools here and I'm just going to poke a hole and then place that in there. You can tuck the soil around it so that you um, can, can kind of keep it stabilized for a little while if you like. I usually like to have just not quite touching the leaf base here. I want, would like to have that petiole kind of submerged though. And if you don't want to tuck in too much, uh, you don't have to worry about it too much because we're going to water this and the force of the water is going to coagulate around there and kind of make the, the soil settle around this. So now I'm going to go through um, and just make a whole bunch of cuttings like this and see how many I can get out of the material that I picked up. I'll do a couple where I'm kind of showing you the process on here and then I will turn off my camera and magically whoosh the rest of them and show you guys the finished product. 